Welcome to our channel. <laughs> and if you're not new, you already know what it do, baby. You already know what it do, baby. Today we will be making rotisserie. Hey man, chill out, bro. So today we will be making rotisserie chicken salad. Yum. So on our chicken salad, me personally, I love, love, love the Arby's chicken salad. It's typically only offered in the summer, and I typically can't wait to get to it, man. Um. It has the pecans, the celery, the chicken, the grapes, the everything, man. Um, and it, I get excited every time. So we decided to put a little twist on it, um, but make something kind of similar. Gonna do this really quick recipe. This should be a real quick video. We just uh, wanted to show you guys something that you can make for the summer, for an event, a little appetizer type thing. Um, and it's gonna be delicioso. Starting out with the chicken. Um, we just pulled the chicken from a rotisserie chicken. Again, we're trying to make this as a quick recipe. And with that being said. Sorry, Daddy Shark. <laughs> <laughs> passing through. <laughs> Daddy Shark's gonna keep passing through because we have an active two year old. <laughs> and uh, he wasn't doing this before we started filming, but now it's a thing. He has to, you know, make sure that he's on camera as well. Uh, but with that being said, let's go. Um, since this is a quick recipe, we just picked up a rotisserie chicken um, from the deli section at Walmart uh, and pulled the white meat and some of the dark meat uh, because on our particular rotisserie chicken, the dark meat was a little bit dark and it was crispy, but the white meat was pretty good starting out there. All right, so in our bowl, we put two pounds of chicken. We have half a cup of sliced pecans. Well, not sliced. Not sliced too, so. Half pecan halves. And we're gonna do one cup of mayonnaise. Start out light and you can always add more once you start mixing it up. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard. That baby's strong. Dijon strong. So with the grapes, we actually cut these into into fourths. So that's about a cup of grapes. And then two stalks of celery or about a handful really. Three green onion stalks. Again, you can eyeball it if you like. Two tablespoons of chopped parsley. You need one lemon. Uh, Stacy pulled out a ginormous lemon, so we're gonna start out with half. And then we're just gonna taste it and see what we got from there. Make sure you don't get your seeds in there, so you don't wanna be choking. And we got a bunch in there. <laughs> don't be us. I mean, a bunch, a bunch. And then you're gonna salt and pepper it to taste. So. Stop, stop, baby. Stop, baby. Gonna sprinkle some on in there. Anything else? Let's get it. <laughs> and make sure that you guys, if you're using pecans, that you use toasted pecans or pecans or however you say it in your region of the world. I'm from Georgia. Pecans baby. is right. So we say pecans. <laughs> pecans. <laughs> Pecans are so proper. It is. It <laughs> Pecans. Take the wedding. 
That's what she said. <laughs> It's just a drive, you know what it is, yeah Woodstock free vibes on me Music keeps my lonely I have been up since I don't know where I am Tryna create a vibe, tryna get these hours in Punching the clock, I get it, gotta go hard with it Honey, honey, I'ma start with it Coach looking for starters Alright, so Donovan's gonna do a taste test. Let's see. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything, fam. He said it wasn't salty enough for him. He's salty, it wasn't salty. Yeah. I did. I'm a little more green on you. Hop in the game, I'm like hearted. Falling harder than spawning. Falling harder than spawning. It's just a drive, you know what it is, yeah Woodstock free vibes on me Music keeps my lonely I've been up since I don't know where I am Tryna create a vibe, tryna get these hours in Punching the clock, I get it, gotta go hard with it Honey, honey, I'ma start with it Coach, look at right, the fam. This is what we ended up with a chicken salad sandwich on croissant. It absolutely looks gourmet, as you guys have already seen through the thumbnail as well as through the B-roll. Um, and it took like 10 minutes to make. Super simple, super quick, and hopefully we'll let you know in a minute if it's super delicious. Um, all right. So I'm gonna split this with you. That means that you can't be eating my half. You feel me? I'm having my own half. Why can't I? And matter of fact, Matter of fact, I need some pickles too, cause I can't, I can't eat a sandwich without pickles. pickles. I can't eat a sandwich without pickles. I ain't never had no pickles on no. Uh, Bro, I can't have sandwich. a sandwich without. They pickles. got that at Orvis. No. They got it. They got it. They got it at Panera. <laughs> they got it at Panera. You don't like Panera. <laughs> So you got the rotisserie chicken in there, guys. It's nice and juicy. We got the mayonnaise going. The Dijon, actually, it has a little kick as well. Like all these flavors just married together so well. The fresh crunch of the celery. So we actually toasted the pecan, so that brings out the flavor even more. And it helps for a better, better texture, a better crunch when you're chewing. And that lemon juice make it a little, give it a little fresh kick. Mm-hmm. We didn't actually get a chance to chill it before we taste it, so probably if it was cold, it would have marinated and been even better. Mm-hmm. It's really good, though. That's what? It's really good on that fresh croissant. Yeah. It's, croissant is nice and soft. Mm. All right, we'll stop crushing our face. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, Smash that like button and hit that subscribe button so you can get more videos just like this one and so that YouTube can push it out.
Push it out. Push it out. Push it out. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. And we hope to see you guys in our next video. Come and see the colors. Picasso couldn't paint. You call me the.